Hey guys, Techniment here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be doing one of the most exciting unboxing video of this year for our channel, which is unboxing here a uh, MacBook Pro M1 from Amazon. We were able to get this right now at a discounted price. They're actually having this right now on sale for $200 less than you would pay on apple.com and hence why we bought it because as you know from our channel we like to do this kind of unboxing where you can get deals like this and we want to show you guys what you can expect from it of course this is a brand new macbook like you buy it from apple.com we bought it from amazon because frankly everybody buys on amazon and that's why we're doing this video and before we go ahead and get started if you guys are new to the channel we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways so make sure you hit that subscribe button also if you guys are in the market or looking for this macbook make sure you guys check out the link in the description section to get those discount so hopefully those prices drop even more when you click on that link and the last thing of course if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so let's go ahead and dive into this video so ordered it on amazon don't have prime shipping here at all but it took literally two days to come in the mail so that was really fast this macbook here it estimated to come about a week later without prime but that wasn't the case so really pumped that amazon really shipped this out fast and these things are going by fast because as if you guys seen other MacBook M1 reviews, these are the hottest selling MacBooks out there in the market. And this is the first time Apple has done something revolutionary. And that's what we're gonna take a look at in this box. So first thing first, we're gonna go ahead and take the tape off and go ahead and start taking a look at what we have in the box. I'm just taking the tape off from this side here that you guys don't see in the frame but and then from the other side let's, go, let's take this off All right, so here, as you can see, you got some bubble wrappers there, and then inside of it is another box. So, box on top of a box. So that's pretty cool there. Um, so we're gonna go put this out here. Backbook. So we put that aside. All righty. So as you can see here, right now we have another box that we have to unbox. So unboxing on top of unboxing so bonus review for you guys I'm gonna go ahead and take this off here and take a look at in here and the box up one more time here and as you guys can see right here it's well packed really well packed right in there even though we had an Amazon box before it I'm gonna take it out of this box here and then go ahead and put the MacBook down here and then throw the box aside. All right, so that is kind of loud, but here you guys have it. So this is the MacBook. It's kind of heavy, actually. The, the MacBook itself is three pounds, but I can feel it being really heavy just holding it from the side here. And to show you guys the box, you're a little bit more here, some of the other things. So this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. This is the eight gig, which is most common. We find that on Amazon, the 16 gig right now isn't on sale. Maybe it is if you look around by the time you're watching the video, but eight gigs and 16 gig, based on some of the reviews we see on benchmark tests, doesn't seem like makes a big difference for our regular users. And, and then we got the 512 gig because 256 gig, which is a base one, doesn't seem like a lot. And even if you use it for a little bit it goes ahead and fills it up so this that's kind of the review of it and so as you can see here the box itself sort of heavy so as you can see i'm almost out of breath when talking but we're gonna go ahead and get this unboxing for you guys so that was pretty cool just tearing that piece and from there on we're gonna go ahead 
and just slide this off or little ASMR for you guys and put that plastic aside and take a look at see what we have in the box here and as you can see here in the box is the MacBook Pro and if you take a look at it it has another cover on it and of course this plastic we'll go ahead and take that off but before we go ahead and take the plastic off just want to show you guys what else will be included in the box here of course it's going to be the usb type c charger so if you have a very older macbook from a couple of years it's not going to be the same charger as you can see here it's the usb type of charger now and then it, we also have the pamphlet, which we're going to take a look, and the wall adapter here, which is a 61 watt wall adapter or power adapter, whatever you call this. So that's the brick right there. So we're going to put that brick there, and we'll just leave that in there. And take a look at to see what we have in the instruction pamphlet here. And of course, we have is this quick little pamphlet that says MacBook Pro. And if we take a look in there, of course, very common stuff, very much, if you didn't use a MacBook ever, might be new to you, but pretty common stuff there, not too much going on. Of course, the safety and handling, and of course, the iconic stickers, can't miss those. As you can see from iPhone unboxing where they give you one, they give you two over here, so that's pretty cool. It used to be bigger, not sure why they made it smaller, but there you go, if you like those stickers for you those are there so we'll put that aside and go ahead and take a look at the actual macbook itself so you're gonna go ahead and take this plastic off Put that aside and just to show you guys a close look of the MacBook here. The design hasn't changed from the previous generation of MacBooks. So if you have the Intel version, you'll notice it's pretty much that same body for it where it's got those flat edges all around. And of course on this side, and you notice with the MacBook here is that they only have two Thunderbolt or USB four USB four ports, and then the headphone jack here, which is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This is probably the biggest complaint is that when Apple no longer with the iPhone seven and up, where they were using the actual uh, those eight pin ones. I don't know why they're still using this one. That's probably the one of the worst designs that you know from Apple's perspective they should have moved away. I guess they really want you to use AirPods or something if you're connecting it, but that's Apple for you right there. And to show you guys a little bit more, just to give you guys a comparison for the previous generation of MacBook or the Intel version that was released a little bit earlier in 2020. This is the Intel version of it, the, the one with the four Thunder port versus two. They both weigh about the same, three ounce each, and you can't really tell the difference. Probably the only difference you can tell is the Thunder port, the two versus just the regular um, four that you have. But aside from the body design, to give you guys a comparison, so if we hold these side by side, Pretty much just those thunder ports and that. So we're gonna go ahead and you probably heard the Apple logo go out, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look. Put the box aside here. To use English as the main language, for so that's really strange because it already seemed like somehow it turned on without even pressing a key, so I'm not sure. Apple did something there, but we're going to go ahead and take that film off. And as you can see here, 
we have the beautiful MacBook Pro and we have the language here that we can select and get this set up. You notice that large trackpad compared to the old, older, really older models where they're a little bit slimmer. You have that beautiful keyboard as well and the touch bar and the touch ID so you can use your fingerprint to unlock the device. So we're going to be doing a lot more testing in depth with the device itself. But here what we're going to do is go ahead and set this up to see where we can go with this. So we're going to go ahead and select the language here and hit next with that arrow right there. And after that, you want to select your country here. So by default, it selects your region. So we're in the United States. We're going to hit continue. And from there on, accessibility. This is something I really like because they go ahead and start with this menu where in the previous generation setup, they didn't come. So it's really important, especially if you need the accessibility. We don't need it, but certainly feel, feel welcome to do whatever you need to. But we're just going to hit not now. And the next thing you want to do is select the Wi-Fi. So we're going to go ahead and select the Wi-Fi because there's really no other way if you don't have Wi-Fi set up. So we're going to go ahead and just put the password here. And then hit continue, of course. Hopefully we enter the right password. We have done that. Similarly, now we get the data and privacy notice. You can learn more about it, read about it, but that's their policy. So we're just going to hit continue here. And migration assistance. So this is important, especially if you're transferring your information from a old MacBook, you want to be able to select, or if you're doing it from a PC, you want to go through those steps and uh, do that. So this is going to be really important, but for our purposes here, we're just not going to do it. So we're going to select not now since we just want to get a fresh, clean slate of the MacBook. Next thing, again, really important if you're setting it up for the very first time is signing in to your Apple ID. So you want to do that so you can use all the services like you would with the phone or simply not do it. If you don't have an Apple ID, you can actually create one for free. As you can see, there's a way to create it if you have never use any Apple product. If you use the Apple product, you can use the same, reuse the same Apple ID used for your iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, whatever it may be. But if you want to start with a new one, you certainly can. Probably most people use the same one. Or if you forgot your password, you can reset it and go through this step. We're not going to do any of that right now. We're, we're simply going to set up later. You can always come back to it. Apple recommends not to do that, but we're just going to skip this anyway. And then terms and condition, this is their agreement that you're signing when you're using the Mac OS software. You can simply go ahead and read through the user license agreement and the hardware warranty and all of that. We're just going to have to agree here. There's no really other way here. And hit agree. And then next step here is actually filling in your name and stuff so that Apple can register this device and know what the name of this account should be. You can simply hit continue or well, you'll have to provide that information as you can see here you can't really continue without providing that information so we're going to go ahead and just put our name here all right looks like we will have to put all of the other information here so we're simply going to put the password here don't use the password I'm using here. So of course we're just putting a demo password in just so we can get through this step and get to that main screen for you guys. But of course, whenever you're setting it up, make sure you put your information on. And of course, make sure you note down all the past where you don't want to try to reset the device again or go through the setup process and lose your information because you forgot the password. And then the next thing you get is this express setup. So there's customized settings Apple sets up by default. You can customize it yourself or just hit continue and it will use those express settings. 
app analytics or analytics to improve the Apple software and the user experience. You can share that information with app developers so Apple can improve it or not, depending on if you want to share, you want to select that box. Generally, we don't do that. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and continue here. Screen time, so screen time, like with the iPhone, similarly on MacBook, any Apple devices, is that it gives you a report, weekly report of how much time you're using and such. You can set that up or simply set up later. We're just going to hit continue here. It doesn't really matter too much for us. Siri, which is the voice recognition or the voice assistant on the MacBook and any Apple devices, you can simply enable it to use that experience or simply not. If you do enable it, it's going to ask you to say some commands, which you'll have to say. So Siri can recognize your voice when you are looking to activate it. We are just simply going to skip through that since we don't want to make this video any longer, but certainly you can do that on your own. And Touch ID. So this is important because if you haven't used it or upgraded your MacBook in a while, is that Apple decided to use Touch ID where you can use your fingerprint or thumb to unlock your MacBook here, really simple, or to even use Apple services like making purchases, downloading apps, and much more. You can go ahead and set it up by simply putting your thumb here. It'll start recognizing, and you want to keep on moving your thumb around all around. So if you keep on doing that, it will allow you to set up the thumb ID here. So you'll need to do a lot more, and then you'll be able to do it. For our purposes, we're just going to skip through that, but certainly do that. And then you get to choose, of course, the appearance that you want. So you could have light, dark, or auto. So it'll switch between that. You can also customize a lot of that. We're just going to simply go with the default, hit continue. True tone display, as you know, MacBook, like with iPhones, have this technology where it can uh, set the ambient lighting condition to make the colors feel more consistent. By default, it will be selected. You can see how it would be without it. So it'll show you kind of contrast of it and without it so you can simply play around with it but we're going to hit continue here and as you can see we are at the main screen ready to go all set up and good to go so this is the mac book pro as you can see that nice little well, control menu around there you got your information up there battery information and much more and this is what the macbook m1 pro looks like when you finally set it up like with any other apple devices so hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing video and also score on that discount that amazon is currently giving make sure you guys check that out we were also able to get this clear case from amazon as well which We'll put some link in the description section. Probably want to buy something like that and accessories and much more. So thanks for watching, guys. If you guys have any comments, concerns, or just want any kind of video request, make sure you guys leave a link in the description section. Thank you, guys. See you guys next time.